Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a greenery floral arch and I'm going to use the backdrop of a photograph that I've taken from the internet. This is the French farmhouse which is a vintage French inspired wedding venue in North Texas and I really love all the angles on this elevation of the entrance and all of these kind of archways as well so I'm going to create where these kind of two bushes are here I'm going to create an asymmetrical greenery arch here and I'm also going to add in some greenery and florals into what would be the edges of a ceremony aisle. So what I've done is I've downloaded this image to my iPad and then all you need to do is click on this wrencher icon and tap insert photo, go and select that file and it will come into your canvas here as its own layer. So then I'm just going to use that tool there to enlarge it. And this is a great thing to do if you've taken a photo of your client's wedding venue or if they're having it in their own home and they want to see what their floral and greenery is going to look like um, for the ceremony or maybe an entrance statement feature piece. You can just draw straight on top of the photograph. I'm going to use this inspiration photo here for the greenery aisle. So kind of loose greenery um, with these white flowers in. And I'm also going to use inspiration from a wedding planner um, she's a, an award-winning wedding planner from Louisiana and her name's Kayla and she runs Jackson Southern Events. This is the kind of look I'm going to go for. I'm going to make it a little bit more asymmetrical and I'm not going to have it joined up in the middle. So I'm going to take these two and just resize them and move them off to the side. And because I'm going to use the colours from this image, what I'm going to do is go into my colour palettes, tap on the palette option, the plus icon, and I'm going to select create a new palette from photos and I'm just going to go and select the image that has the aisle green in it and what it's done is added all of these green colors for me into my own color palette. Okay so I'm going to add a new layer above our background um, layer of the venue here and then in this demonstration I'm going to use mostly my greenery brush set but I pretty much in every design take brushes from my basic brush set as well. So I'm going to go into my greenery brush set and I'm going to select greenery brush number seven to give me this kind of loose greenery look here. I'm going to go into my color palette that we've just created and I'm going to select one of the darker greens and just start building up the form. So we're going to have it sat in front of this kind of three tiered bush here. I'm going to have it larger on the left, slightly smaller on the right. And I kind of want to follow the arch around this door. So I've got my color selected. I've got my size selected. Just simply go in, start building up a few layers. You'll see this is a dynamic greenery brush. So in my greenery brush set, all the ones that are kind of laid out across the screen like this are dynamic, which means they're just like paint brushes. As you move your stylus across the screen, they are dropping this kind of outline of some leaves and it's twisting and flipping to give you this kind of um, organic effect. I can just reduce that size down. I'm just going to add a few more smaller leaves just to give it that kind of organic look. don't want it to be too structured. I'm just going to add my darkest shade of green here, just more to the left hand side, just to start giving it a little bit of depth. And this is in no way a comprehensive design, this is very much what you can create really quickly in front of your client or just as a kind of design draft yourself just so you can get an idea of what you're thinking. Um, you can also spend a lot of time on these designs and create something that's super realistic. So depending on what you need, you can simply do, uh, just use one brush here to create this look. And at this point I might take my arrow brush here and I've got uniform selected so it scales. I want to enlarge it but I want to make sure these trees behind are covered up so that's going to select 
that left hand side. I'm just going to move that back in slightly. And now I'm going to do the same using the same brush and the same set of colours. I'm going to create a kind of greenery aisle that's going to come from the base of here all the way out as if this is where your couple is going to be walking as they, they come into this entrance or maybe this is the ceremony backdrop. And again, go and add a few darker elements as well as some highlights. And then what I'm going to do is add an aisle to cover up this kind of green patchwork here. So I'm going to go into my basic brush set and select my round brush. And I'm just going to select a pure white colour. I'm going to take my selection tool and select freehand. Let's move my canvas slightly. And then I'm going to select some points behind this greenery that selects this area here. I'm going to go and tap my brush icon and then I can add that aisle into there. Now let's quickly go and add some flowers. So for this I'm actually going to go into my flower brush set and generally I'd always use my flower brush set with my greenery brush set so that I can create these kind of images. I've got in my flower brush set lots and lots of different flowers but when you're not trying to create anything too detailed the hydrangea brush really does add quite a lot of detail and I'm just going to use white just to show you how this would work. So I'm going to add that new layer above our arch and aisle for greenery. And all I'm going to do is simply tap using a different pressure as I go, which gives you different sizes of flower. And if one comes out too big, two things on the screen just erases that one. Then I'm going to add some flowers in, in this kind of format of our inspiration image. So just kind of just in this area here. And then a little bit higher up on the left. And then for, for a bit of variety, I'm going to select a very light pink to just show you this in a different colour. So let's do the same again. And then one of my tricks is to take the eraser brush, select from your greenery brush set, brush number 10. And then what this does is make your eraser brush this kind of leaf pattern. And if I zoom in, all I'm going to do is just go around the edge of some of these flowers just erase some of the edges so these flowers look like they're sat within the greenery kind of blooming out of the sides they're not just sat on top so again you can take a lot more time doing this just to show you a few little techniques you can use with this brush set to quickly bring your designs to life and you can keep going and adding more flowers you can add chairs if you wanted. I've got chair brush stamps as well which you could create some ceremony chairs here if you had some and within the greenery brush set I have lots of different brushes as well so if you needed to add eucalyptus or palms I've got them on stereo leaf. I've got all different shapes and sizes of leaf so that you can add all these details into your floral designs and this also can be done on tables, uh, greenery table runners, stage and bar backdrops and another thing you can also do is use this if you're adding florals to cake designs and then just as a finishing touch if I was going to show this to a client go and select that white colour and in my basic brush set the watercolour brush instead of this being a really harsh line here where you've got the edge of the photo just come in on the edge here and just soften that up a little bit so it doesn't draw your eye to the side. And there you go, you can just see how quickly you can create something that you can show to your client um, in Procreate on the iPad using my brush sets which I've created for you. I'll link below the link to my brushes and if you're interested in learning how to use my brushes and my drawing process to create table illustrations on your iPad, then there's a link below to my two courses. One is the table design course, which will allow you to create things like this. Um, I walk you through how to use all of my brush sets, including tables and chairs, the greenery and the floral brushes so that you can create things like this, how you can add drapery and things like candlesticks um, and vases, really everything you need to be able to create something that you can show to your client. 
And I also have a course which shows you how to create this top-down look onto the table so that you can showcase your place setting designs to your client. And in this course, um, there is a place setting brush set that I share with you. And I've created everything you need to create designs like this, including all of your table decor, candles, candlesticks, napkins, glassware, chargers and plates, as well as a huge collection of flatware. And I teach you how to work through my 10 step drawing process to come in here and add the colour to your brush stamps, as well as adding artistic touches, realistic florals, and how to add some nice touches at the end, such as this watercolour effect and realistic shadows. So check out the link in the description below if you're interested in that. And as a gift to you, I have 10 free brushes that I'd love to share with you. It's the first link that you'll see in the description below. And I share with you these brushes. These are some of my favorite ones. And I also share with you my 10 step drawing process in PDF format. If you've loved this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can be the first to see when the next tutorial drops.